So, uh, first of all, I will just uh, ask you to introduce yourself, please. Okay. Um, so, I'm Aline Verstraten. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Antwerp. Um, I did a PhD first on Parkinson's disease and then I shifted to the aortopathy research and I'm focusing on finding new genes for syndromic thoracic aortic aneurysms and also finding modifiers for also syndromic uh, forms of, of aneurysms like Marfan syndrome. Um, but I'm more a wet lab um, scientist and not a clinician. Okay. And so can you explain what project uh, 100 Watt Genomes Marfans consists of? So the project consists of finding um, genetic factors that can explain why some people are very severely affected and others are mildly affected, um, which is very important for the patients because individuals with the same mutation can have a wide range of, of phenotypes and um, you would like to know which patients you should follow more carefully and um, who are more at risk for uh, lethal dissections than the other ones. And uh, what did you agree to be part of this uh, com scientific uh, committee uh, on this foundation? I think it's very important that many people um, come together to strengthen research on, on Marfan syndrome. So um, there are different people in, in Belgium working on Marfan syndrome, but also in the Netherlands and in France. And I think that making collaborations like this, where patients are involved, where researchers are involved, will only push the research forward. And um, I think it's important that also different levels of, of scientists are involved. So like the wet lab researchers and the clinicians and um, just that all kind of expertise is grouped. And um, as a scientist, what are you expecting from uh, this pro uh, project and this foundation? I hope that we can find those genetic modifiers where we are looking for. And if we can, this will give us new insights in the, in the mechanisms underlying the disease and can provide us with new targets that we can um, specifically target and um, to find novel therapies. So if you find a genetic factor that explains why some people are only mildly affected, you can specifically boost that factor and try um, in, in the patients that are severely affected and try to ameliorate their phenotype and to make sure that they won't experience those deadly dissections. And um, what is the key element uh, for you that makes project, uh, this project important uh, to Marfan patients and for other rare diseases? Yeah, so for Marfan patients, um, as I said before, I think it's important for their prognosis. Um, and in general, it is true that for rare diseases, it is important to gather all expertise and all patients together in one large group because since the disorder is so rare, it's difficult to find um, interesting leads. Um, so I'm sure that this can be an example for other rare disorders and that other researchers can learn from the approaches that are taken here and from the way that all kind of uh, people are um, collaborating on, on this project. Mm 